Hey Wisconsin Athletic Club, this is Kaylee Mazur coming to you live from the living room and I'm really excited because today I have planned for you a strength, light, seated, H-I-I-T workout. So not only is this a low impact workout, it's a no impact workout. You're going to be seated the whole time and I'm going to take you through a high intensity workout without ever having to stand up. We're going to stay seated the whole time. You don't even need any weights or any other form of resistance. The only thing you need is a chair. So grab a nice firm chair and go ahead and sit down and get ready for the warm up. I'm going to press play on the music. some left arm circles up back and down warming up our shoulders so I'm going to take you through four sets each set is going to have three exercises each exercise is going to build on one another go ahead right arm so we're going to start with one exercise have some rest Go back to exercise one and build in exercise two, then have some rest. Then we're going to work in a third exercise. So we're going to do exercise one, two, and three, rest, and then do them again. Then I'll give you a new set of exercises. When we're done with our four sets, I have a fifth set of seated core work that we're going to do. Let's do both arms together, up, back, and down. Big arm circles. This is a no impact workout, no load bearing, no equipment, but still high in intensity. Go ahead, give me some arm crossers. a big deep breath reach your arms up stretch up to the ceiling deep breath go ahead and reach your arms forward round your shoulders reach forward and go ahead and take it back arms behind your body stretch your chest to the ceiling deep breath shoulder. All right, come back to center. We're going to get started with our first three exercises in our first round. We are going to work for 30 seconds and then we are going to have 15 seconds rest. Then we're going to do two exercises 
three exercises, 15 seconds rest. So our first exercise is an overhead to high knee. So we're gonna take our hands out above and we're gonna alternate high knees. So let's get started with our first exercise. Let me get the timer ready and go. Arms overhead, high knee. Pull your belly button in to brace your core. Try to reach your elbow to your knee. back to the hinge flapper, hinge forward, reach up. Tip from your hip, keep your core braced. Really reaching, working our shoulders, our upper back. Building strength in our lower back as well. We're going right into our new exercise. We're going to reach same arm, same leg. Up and out, reach and reach. As fast or as slow as you like. About 10 more seconds. Keep going. Okay, we're going to repeat our pyramid one more time, starting with the overhead high knee, moving to the hinge flappers, and then ending with the reach across. Two and one, alternating high knee, overhead reach. here. We're moving to the hinge flappers. In five, four, three, two, and one. Hinge down, reach up. Across, 
right now, reach and tap, reach and tap. Can you reach higher and tap further? Ten more seconds. Last one, hold it here. We're gonna start round two. Great job with round one. Round two, we're gonna get started with our first exercise, which is a double knee. We're gonna scoot to the side, crunch, 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 crunch. I want you to twist and pivot. Crunch, 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 crunch. Working those side obliques as fast or as slow as you like. Crunch, crunch, slide your ribs towards your hips. And hold it here for rest. Our second move that we're gonna build into our pyramid is called a rainbow jack. We're gonna bring our arms out and our knees up. Couple more seconds of rest. We're going back to the double high knee crunch. Right now, double knee and switch. Slide your ribs towards your hips, pull in your belly button. Small movements make a big difference. One more, moving to the rainbow jack. We're gonna alternate knees and bring our arms up overhead. If you want, you can modify with a side raise, whatever's best for you. Five, four, one, hold it here for rest. Our third exercise coming into our pyramid is frog reaches. We're gonna touch the ground and reach up overhead. Going back to the double knee right now. Crunch, 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 crunch. one. Going back to the rainbow jack. Hands up, alternating high knees. Take your option if you want. You could do side raises, high knee, whatever's best for you. Keep the intensity high. Don't stop moving. We've got 10 more seconds here. We're going to add the frog reaches. We're going to reach down to our toes, reach up overhead. If you can't touch your toes, go ahead and touch your knees. Right now, reach down, reach up, reach down, reach up. In from your hip. Deep breaths. Make sure your core is braced. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here for rest. We're gonna do the pyramid one more time, then we'll be halfway through our workout. So we're gonna start with the double knee crunch, move to the rainbow jack, and finish with frog reaches in four, three, two, and one. Double knee crunch. Last one, moving 
moving to the rainbow jacks. Arms up, alternate your knees. Breathing. We're moving to the frog reaches. One final time in 10 seconds. Knees high in four, three, two, and one. Reach down, reach up, reach down, reach up. Focusing on our range, reaching all the way down, reaching all the way up. Two separate movements, slow and controlled. And hold it here, great job. We're gonna start our third set, starting with toy soldiers. We're gonna reach our opposite arm to our opposite foot. If you cannot reach your opposite arm to your opposite foot, reach your arm to your knee or your elbow to your knee. Let's go, opposite arm, opposite foot. your leg up as high as you can. What's best for you is what you should do. Hold it here for our rest. Our second exercise is running. Yes, you can run while seated. So we're going to start with those toy soldiers and move to some seated running. A couple more seconds of rest. Back to toy soldiers. Reach. Belly button in, brace your core. All right, let's get started with set three. We're gonna start with toy soldiers, opposite arm to opposite leg. In four, three, Two and one. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Pull your belly button in to brace your core. Our next exercise is going to be running while seated. So we're going to start with the toy soldier and then we're going to run while seated in five, four, three, two, and one. Opposite arm, opposite foot. If you can't reach your arm to your foot, reach your arm to your knee, opposite knee, or reach opposite elbow to opposite elbow. kick as high as you can. It's your workout. Do what's best for you. In three, two, and one. Let's run. Get your arms going. Keep your taps with your feet low. Arms are moving front and back. Keep your elbows in close to your body and shoulders away from ears. 15 more seconds. Let's go, five seconds. And rest, hold it here. So we're gonna add our last exercise into our pyramid. We have toy soldiers seated running and we're gonna do roller coaster swoops. We're gonna take both our hands on the side of our body, come up, do a loop and land on the other side. Let's go back to toy soldiers.
don't want to kick your foot up, you can just tap it out in front of you or leg lift, whatever is best for you. We're going back to the seated running in three, two, and one. Keep your elbows in close to your body, shoulders away from ears, keep your taps low on the ground. And breathe. This is better than running on a treadmill. Five more seconds here. Going to the roller coaster swoops. Both your hands on the side of your body. Swoop up, down, and around. belly button in to brace your core, reaching our arms up and around. And last one, hold it here. 15 seconds of rest, we're going to do the pyramid one more time. Toy soldiers, seated running, and roller coaster swoops. A couple of deep breaths, we're going to get started with those toy soldiers again. Right now, opposite hand, opposite foot. So we're finishing up set three. We have one more set, set four, and then we have a set five, which is gonna look a little different. It's a seated core. It's a little bit different from our first four sets of work. It's a little bit longer. Moving to the seated running in three, two, and one, arms front to back, get the legs going, keep your arms moving, take a look at the help section in your Alexa app, ten more seconds here, we're going to go back to the roller coaster swoops, two, and one. Arms to the side, up, over, and around. I really feel this movement in my core. Give me two more swoops. Last one. Hold it here, great job. We are almost done with our workout today. We have set four coming our way. We're gonna start with rope climbers. In a couple more seconds, take a deep breath. We're gonna climb the rope. Reach and pull, reach and pull. If you want, you can add a low tap with your leg or a high knee, whatever is best for you, or you can keep your feet on the ground. Reach and pull. Climb the rope. In three, two, and one. Hold it here, 15 seconds of rest. So we're gonna go back to the rope climber and then we're gonna add a jumping jack. We're gonna tap our leg out to the side and bring our arm up overhead. You could do both together one arm at a time. Back to the rope climber. Legs are optional for the rope climber. Also for our jumping jack, you can modify with a side raise. You can reach your arm up overhead. Whatever's best for you. Moving to that jack in four, three, two, and one. You could do alternating sides. You could do both arms together. You could do side raises. There's so many variations. Just don't stop moving. Reach your arms up. A couple more seconds here. Hold 
sit here for our rest. Okay, we're gonna add our third exercise into our last set here. We're gonna do rope climbers, jumping jacks, and windmills. We're gonna put our hand over our head. We're gonna touch our opposite hand, opposite foot, but back to rope climbing. Legs are optional in the rope climb. We're almost at the finish line. After this final set, we have a seated core set. A couple more seconds. Going to our seated jumping jack. modification if you need it. Just don't stop moving. We're going to incorporate that third exercise. The windmill opposite hand to opposite foot. If you want you can tap opposite hand opposite knee right now. Hinge from your hip. You can have arms overhead, arms out laterally. Give me one more and stop right here for our rest. Okay, we're going to do the pyramid one more time. Rope climber, jumping jack, and windmill. And then we're going to move to our core exercise, which is going to look slightly different, starting with the rope climb right now. Our fifth set, our core set, is going to be five exercises each 30 seconds. We're going to just complete it two times with no rest. Ten more seconds here. Jacks. This is our last minute of work here. Let's really make it count. Finish hard. overhead as well or out laterally whatever's best for you don't stop moving 10 seconds and hold it here great job we're gonna get started with our fifth and final round or set I should say we have five exercises for the fifth round. We're gonna complete it twice. Scoot to the edge of your seat and we're gonna start with twists. If you want, you can pick your feet up off the ground. If not, you can keep them planted on the ground. And we're gonna twist side to side. Deep breath. So we're gonna do 30 seconds of each exercise. We're gonna complete these five exercises twice. ahead and put your hands on your shoulders and we're going to hinge forward and touch our elbows to our knees. If you want, you can really extend. Okay, for our next core exercise, we're going to put both our hands overhead. Seconds here. Scoot onto your chair, hands overhead, and we're going to lean to each side, keeping our head resting on our bicep. And reach and lean to each side, sliding our ribs 
towards our hips, side obliques. Keep going, I'm gonna press play on the music. There we go. Couple more seconds here. We're gonna put our arms across our chest and we're gonna lean back, forward, and back. are called V lean backs. A couple more seconds. Hands to shoulders and we're going to tip side to side for side obliques. We're going to do this set of five exercises one more time. Then we'll give our bodies a cool down. more seconds. We're going to go back to the twist. We're going to scoot to the edge of our seat. Try to get your chest pointed towards the ceiling. Scoot forward and twist. If you want a little more intensity, you could pick one foot up off the ground, both feet up off the ground. A little less intensity, keep both your feet on the ground. Try to keep your chest towards the ceiling. Okay, cross your hands, reach your elbow to your knee, and lean back. We're going to go back to the seated balance. After this, we're going to scoot back into our chair in 10 seconds. Lean towards each side. We're going to rest our head on our bicep and lean and reach towards each side, starting with the left. Right now, scoot back on your chair, hands up. We're gonna lean and reach. Go ahead and switch. This is working our core stabilizers and our external obliques. shoulders for those V sit backs right now. Arms to shoulders. Forward and back. Forward and back. We have one final exercise. After this, we're going to put our hands on our shoulders and lean side to side. In five, One, hands on shoulders, and just reach side to side. Wide ribs towards hips. We're almost done with our workout. A couple more seconds. Keep working hard till the very end. Ten more seconds. Stretch your chest. Bring your arms up overhead. Extend towards the ceiling. Go ahead and bring your hands down, touching your back for a tricep stretch. Arms back up. Arms out. Let's do it one more time. Stretch your chest. Thumbs up. Thumbs down, arms up, arms down, deep breath. Go ahead and release, arms come down, twist over to the left, eye gaze over the left shoulder, back to center, and then to the right side, eye gaze over the right shoulder. Go ahead and lift your left leg up towards your 
chest, stretch your hamstring. Give me a couple ankle rolls. And go ahead and switch, right leg comes up, a couple ankle rolls. Go ahead and put your left ankle on your right knee for a hip flexor. And go ahead and switch. Put your right ankle on your left knee. Put both feet on the ground and go ahead and give me some neck stretches over to the left, to the right, back to the left, and to the right. I hope you enjoyed this seated HIIT workout and enjoy the rest of your day.